Now let's learn how to convert the JSON file to the object. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to create the JSON file. Go, go to the project, right click, just add a file. I'm going to add the file as custom.json. Here you can actually type the JSON. So I'm going to have only two field. So what is the field? Customer ID, the value is 1 of 1, and then customer name, the value is colon, the value is Dinesh Krishna, right? We have this JSON with us. Now we want to read this JSON file and we want to convert the JSON file to the object. It's up to you. So now let's consider main class. adding the main method in it. So I'm going to create the file object, file equal to new file. So I'm going to mention the file name. So what is our file name? Customer.json. Right. So here I'm going to say file reader, file reader equal to new file reader. So I'm going to feed the file object into the file reader. So that is actually wanted to handle the exception. I'm going to throw the exception. That is a file not for exception. So here, what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to convert JSON dot JSON equal to new JSON. I'm going to say JSON dot from, you can see something called reader, right? Since our file reader extends the reader object so we can pass this file reader and I'm going to say what type I want to convert. I want to convert into what you know the customer object. You can store it in the customer object, customer reference variable. So when you run it, we run a customer object. Now simply run this. Here we go. You got what you know. So we actually passed only two fields. One is a customer ID and another one is a customer name in the file. So our JSON actually read the file and then converted to what you know the customer object. So all those two fields actually what you know got filled in the customer object. Thanks for watching.